in this corner a pressure pot from Harbor Freight which was incredibly inexpensive and should terrify you. I have purchased a pressure pot. Pressure pot is a vessel that I can put resin in and I can pressurize to a high PSI and that will remove the bubbles from the resin casting. And I know a lot of you right now are saying, Peter, why do you need a pressure pot? You've already got a vacuum chamber. The truth is, these two devices have very different uses. And I know it can be a little confusing, so we're gonna talk about those. But first, let me show you what this is. Is that you pour a gallon of paint in here, so you pressurize the tank and then you walk into wherever you wanna go and you spray on the walls. We're not using it for that. What we're using it for is to put volumes of pressure down on resin so that the bubbles that are in resin won't be removed but will be shrunk down so small they won't be visible. Let me just show you what I've got here. This is not the way it comes. It has been modified. I have a quick release here that connects to my air compressor and a valve that I can turn that on and off. An elbow and this is the inlet into the pot. This is a safety valve that will pop open to release the pressure when it gets too high. And this is a gauge that will tell me how much pressure I'm putting in here. Take off the lid and you can see it's just a pot. It's actually got a concave uh, bottom. So I cut a nine inch disc of plywood and set it in the bottom so that we'll have a level support for any casting that goes in there. These things are really dangerous. Um, you've got to be super careful. The max air pressure is 60 PSI, and we're going to stay around 50 PSI. I am not showing you a video of how to set this up. I'm going to direct you to my friend Zach Higgins over at NB Woodworks. He is a master caster, and he has a great video on how to set these pots up. So go ahead and check that out. What does this do? This removes air from the chamber, which makes you think, well, this should remove bubbles from resin because you've used it to remove air from bread and from wood. That's its job is to actually pull bubbles out. Yes, that is totally its purpose, but it takes a really long time to do it. And the problem is, is that resin cures faster than this can pump them out. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to initiate our pressure pot by doing a test head to head and see which one of them gets rid of the bubbles the best. Now, art resin is not a casting resin, it's a coating resin. But, for the sake of this test, I think it'll be the best one because it has a 45 minute open time. And once I mix this up, I will divide it between two cups. So, art resin gives us 45 minutes of open time. It's gonna take uh, three minutes to mix it all together. And then a couple minutes to get each pot set up. We're going to add a couple drops of alcohol dye just for effect. This is Baja Blue. Okay, and let's put this one into the pressure pot. Right here in the center, we are loaded with bubbles. Put on the lid, the top down, as hard as we can. And now we're going to charge the pot to about 50 PSI. Which is somewhere between the black 3 and 4. We let that sit for a number of hours. Okay, so I switched over to my other vacuum chamber just because it's got a clear glass top and it's a lot easier to see. You can see here we're drawing a vacuum. It should pull it all the way over here to negative one or thereabouts. So there it is. It's foaming up because it's being all the air is being pulled out of the resin. As you can see, it's it's coming up to the top. Those are all that's all air that's being pulled out of it. And I'm going to have to let the bleed off here a little bit. Try to find some equilibrium. We're still under full vacuum. The bleed valve is just 
fairly open, which means it's letting a tiny little bit of air go in, and then this is pumping that air out. It's a foamy mess, so it is pulling air out of the resin and popping on the surface. All right, so I can't get the resin to equalize. It just keeps foaming up, and then I have to let the bleed valve off. And so what I've done is I've put another cup in here, a larger container, and I'm just going to let it do whatever it wants. There it goes. All right, it is releasing the air. The air <laughs> is coming out of the resin. <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. And that's what happens when you put resin in a vacuum chamber. I'm going to have to stop it. Yeah. I put that other cup in there so it could overflow, but it's filling both. I want to see what happens when you turn it off. Uh, it's going to collapse. Like, I'm all like, the bubbles are just going to break and collapse. Because it, it's set like that, that would be so I awesome. I know, but I, I figured for sure it wouldn't be able to, to fill up both containers. Wow. It looks like it's about to. It does look like it's about to. And that'll ruin my, my vacuum. So pump. don't do it. No. Oh. Weird. I might have finally hit equilibrium here. We're around, around 25 minutes in, and we're only talking about five ounces of resin here. That's five ounces of it filled resin. the quart container, and then it filled the gallon container. The air is finally being released from it. it. Took 25 minutes to get to this point. So here we're close to the 35 minute mark, and you can see how most of the foam has gone down and it is just bubbles left. And it actually is pulling the bubbles out of the resin. We'll see what happens. It's probably got another 10 minutes of open time here before this resin begins to cure. Okay, so it's been a number of hours. I've released the vacuum. And let's move this out of the way. It's totally stuck on the inside. Uh, okay, what I do is we want to release the air. Crystal clear. Okay, so here they are. I managed to wrestle them both out of their cups. Well, out of one of its cups. Um, this is the casting from the vacuum chamber. And while it is clear, there are, I don't see any bubbles in it. It is not, that is not the way you want resin to behave. Of the five ounces that we poured into this cup, three of them stayed in there and the other two foamed out and boiled over. If you were to do that in a mold, um, it would be useless. It would just foam out of the mold. It was fun to watch though. I will give it that. It was exciting to watch. This is the resin that I put in the pressure pot. I am unable to see any bubbles in this at all. It feels to me like an incredibly clear casting. The other really cool advantage of the pressure pot is this resin usually takes 24 hours to fully cure. This cured in four rock hard. Now, as I've said, art resin is not a casting resin. I'm pretty sure I could turn this and polish it. So it, it might actually work just fine as a casting resin. There are a number of projects that you have asked me for over the years that I don't think I could get all the bubbles out and I think it wouldn't look good. So what this allows me to do is allows me to do some projects that you guys have been asking for. And in fact, the very next project we're going to do is a project that you've been asking for for years. 
So as soon as I finish wrapping this video up, I'm going to start working on that one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it finally answers the question, pressure pot or vacuum chamber.